guys welcome back so a couple of weeks ago you uh, would have saw my Lucian Floyd uh, exhibit and it's been a sorry a missy walking past her on the camera still <laughs> so um, long story short apart from the other things this week I'm gonna be talking about Lucian Floyd again but this time at the Garden Museum uh, I didn't even know about it. I didn't know much about the Garden Museum. I kind of heard of it like a secret thing in London, but I didn't really know where it was, what it was. And I came across this, but I believe it or not, one of the favourite things I love a lot of people roll their eyes at, but gift shops. So I went into the gift shop at the National Gallery. Uh, we're looking through the book and thinking, do I want to get a catalogue to go with this companion? But they had other Lucian Freud ones, and I saw this really beautiful green papered book and it had a different kind of energy and feel to what I showed you and it showed a bit more of a feminine and softer side with a lot of plants. Um, I'm at home, you can see I love my plants, it's plants always around me and you probably will catch up on the different shops and different films. But long story short, I thought why not have a look at this exhibition which is apparently run into like mid January. I'll put the dates down here for you. Um, and if you want to go back and actually check the other video, do feel free as well. I'll put the link at the story as well at the end. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the Garden Museum in London, which is on the south side of the river, but you can, it's in the middle accessible. So if you go by tube stations, you can either go by Vauxhall, Waterloo or Westminster. Uh, I'm going to use City Map and have a quick eat and see what it tells me to go to do and just follow my route that way and listen to some music and explore the museum with you. Let's have a look. So I'm going on a Saturday morning. I popped uh, by the Vauxhall route and just went to Pret. Um, I forgot my heat cup. I feel a bit guilty about that actually. Um, and yeah, uh, it's just quite actually when it's in the daytime, it's a different way of seeing Vauxhall and it's quite pretty uh, looking at the architecture as you can see above me. Almost kind of feels like I'm in New York or something. Yeah. It, feels, it feels so different and as you can see, like, why I'm t I was trying to show you, but on my left, I've all this beauty just to look at. And on my right, the contemporary. So it's just a really, really pretty walk. And I would say if you can get off at Vauxhall Station and maybe walk this way, because if you'd go by Westminster, that's the obvious way, and Waterloo, and you kind of know what you expect, but this pile of the secret side of the south side, I'm enjoying watching and going through and sharing with you today. It's just making me more excited to go into the actual museum. I don't know what to expect from the Garden Museum. Uh, I'm sure it's got other exhibitions going on as well. I'm going for Freud, but I'm going to give you a quick tour of the museum as well for anyone who may be interested in it. I've got to admit, living in London my whole life, or well, most of my whole life, and I've seen this building before. I've never actually knew what it was, so this is quite exciting going in there. Even the outside, as you'd expect, is pretty. It was, I was just reading, a church before, and to save it from demolition, it's a grade two listed building. Uh, they turn it into uh, the garden museum. Uh, certain bits of it would have been not here, like the bridge there wasn't apparently there, but Westminster obviously was, and it's nice just to see that little bit of history. So if you do come, I'd say have a blurb of this part before going in. I'm gonna have
and in fact the reason for it being hated, other members of the Gandhi family before it became friends with this group. When you walk into the bathroom in which the Sikh women you're hated, quite an unusual experience. The bathroom's quite small, so when you walk in there, you're right up against the Sikh painting, and so you can't escape looking at it. What I love about it is that it's bigger than a Sikh woman in real life. So you can see that the body is really getting into detail, the leaves, the fleshy stems, the buds and the petals of the sick women. Um, but again, as well as say, you get the little cardboard box of text. On the side of it, with these misspelled names, museum is a real secret gem. You can see behind me it's quite glorious. I've done the void which I'll talk about in a moment when I'm outside of it. It's a bit quiet but I just wanted to show you this gorgeous painting. I can see it's by Ivan Hogan of King Charles and it's just got so much energy and softness and in this background it's just really really pretty. <laughs> So I landed up wanting to wanting to go to see the Freud exhibition, which was absolutely amazing. It was really nice to see his work in a different side. And what I mean by that is actually finding out how linked he was, even though it's a still beat and taking pictures of him, the intimacy of his pictures, the way he had the cane flowers and leaves mixed with fresh and it was all intertwined and his beauty wasn't like the ideal perfect it was actually seeing things natural and go wild and document it and slowly over time and i'm not a big kind of biodiversity lover of uh paint tints like that but his actually recaptured really well which i found really relaxing and meditative and then to be in this space as you can see this beautiful garden museum afterwards has been a real treat so I would definitely recommend coming here, if, especially since lockdown when so many people bought plants. This is a real delight and I think a lot of people are going to be pleasantly surprised. The exhibition is going on for quite a while, um, so you've got time and just I think so you can go out in places like that and try to actually go when it's not raining, that's my only tip. I'm happy it's not today. They've got a bell tower or some kind of tower I'm going to have a look at in a second. And I really just think this is just it's £14 pound entry for an adult as well, so it's really worth it. And it's so peaceful and pretty and just ideal to look at. As I was mentioning, even these beautiful dried flowers, which all dream of. overlooking this kind of garden court as well that you can see in the cafe. This is outside in one of the gardens and over there is a tomb I want to look at in a moment. I just saw it really reminds me of the catacombs or some, some beautiful exquisite detail. And this is what I just wanted to quickly share with you as well. This tomb, which is just really gothic and exquisitely detailed. And I talked about Memento Mori before on my previous uh, episodes and vlogged in the past even when we're going to Paris catacombs. So, of course, this just grabbed my attention and being out in this beautiful space. So I'm at the final bit of the bell tower, so it is actually got steps. Medieval tower. 
Let me just check the speed to somebody. On oh, lock 10 or something, no, my lock. I just got approval, I can go in here. I didn't want to be locked in, especially when it's looking like this already. I feel like I'm on one of those shows now. I'm most connected. I'm holding the rope, as you can see. It was quite tiny. <laughs> Okay, I can see. Oh no, that's not the way. Jeez, why did I do this? Good lord. It's quite it's just tiny and scared, but I'm not enjoying this. The steps are very eroded. who won't be able to go up here. I hope you enjoy this. <sighs> I see light. Oh. We're gonna see this together. Let's just keep hoping jump bolt door. Oh dear. I can't believe I just done that. And now I'm probably gonna be too scared when I'm up here. Oh my look. Oh wow. This is high. I'm going to put my scarf on. Okay, so the view is magnificent. Um, I'm just trying to keep myself feeling safe because I'm not good at heights. I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm not liking it to be honest. I'm going to just go a bit in the middle while I hold the camera in case I feel like it's going to fly off, but it's not. This is a view. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, but this is the bravest thing I've done on a YouTube video for you guys. I'm actually really terrified and I hope you like it. Please give me likes, thumbs up, comments and all that stuff. Do come to it if you see it. If you're scared of heights, I wouldn't recommend going up this tower. If it's not also got mobility access, but if you are able and not scared of heights like me, go up, it's worth it. But maybe you should just go up and try and be brave. But yeah. I hope you like this video and I'm gonna sign out for this week. Subscribe, thumbs up and everything and all that jazz. I'm gonna have a mini and I think I need a cup of tea after this. <laughs>